the Johnny Eagles run. Oh, hi, I'm Larry. Hi, I'm sorry I'm late, but I ran into Gene here. Oh, Gene, this is Ed Reardon. The Ed I was telling you about. Hello. How do you do? And this is Jack Connors. Gene Bassett from over at Morrisville. How do you Hello. do, Gene? Hello. Here, you can sit here. Thank you. Huh? Would you like something? A malt or a soda? A malt, I think. A well-mannered group, aren't they? You notice their good manners right away. Good manners make good first impressions. And because your manners are showing all the time, they have a lot to do with how well people like you. We've noticed Jack's manners because, well, they seem easy and natural. Of course, he does have a special reason for good manners right now. But good manners are comfortable and natural and easy for him now because they're with him all day. All day? Well, let's see. Morning, everybody. Morning, Jack. Morning. Morning, Jack. Hi. Morning, dear. See? A cheerful good morning is a good way to start the day. Good manners will help toward a pleasant, happy day. And home is a good place to practice them. Some eggs, Dad? Thanks. May I have some toast, please? Yes, sir. Thank you. May I? Please? Thank you. Nothing. These are words of respect. Words that make day-to-day -day living go smoothly. Oh, Jack, do you think I could borrow that portable radio of yours for the picnic tomorrow? Please? Asking to borrow things politely, not demanding them. All right. And okay. sharing things when you can are more signs of good manners. It's about time to get out the storm windows and check them over. How about tonight, Jack? Gee, I'm sorry, Dad. I have a date tonight. Would tomorrow be all right? Sure. Just make sure. Yes, you even when you have to go against another's wishes, you can do it agreeably. Being agreeable, saying and doing things in a pleasant way. That's easy enough, and it does make a difference all day long. Ready? Yeah, just a second. I'll put my jacket on here. Oh, excuse me. I'll get it. Excuse me. Jack's good manners are showing again. Jack Connor speaking. It's helpful to give your name when you answer. Well, Mr. Moore, I'm, I'm sorry. My father just left for the plant a few minutes ago. May I take a message? Ask him to call me when he comes in tonight. Yes, I will. Thank you very much. I'll tell him. All right, sir. Goodbye. You can be direct and brief on the phone. Say what you have to say and then stop. For on the phone, too, your manners are showing. Ready to go? Ready for you. Mm -hmm. We're going, Mom. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, bye, Jack. Bye, sis. See you after school. Right. When Jack leaves the house with a lady, it's ladies first. Yes, even with his sister. For on the street, as much as at home, your manners are showing. It's a simple enough matter to give people you meet plenty of room to pass. Good manners again, and they put you in a good light. Well, hi, Mary. Hi. Morning. How are you? We've missed you. I'm fine now. No more tonsils, please. Oh, that's oh. right. You had them out, didn't A you? cheerful greeting for friends you meet. An inquiry about their welfare. And everyone feels more at ease. That's what good manners do. They make everyone feel at ease. What about manners when the bus comes? That's right, of course. Ladies first and no shoving or pushing. Inside the bus, you can enjoy the ride and let others enjoy it. Or you can, well, look around. Perhaps the less said about this kind of manners, the better. And this kind. Your 
her manners are showing. And it's good manners that make a good impression. Now, about getting off the bus. Should Jack get off first? Yes, he can give the ladies a hand. And girls, let the men help. They enjoy it. And no loafing around. Being on time is good manners, too. Are your manners showing when you're in class? Let's see. There's Jack giving the teacher his best attention. Good manners again. Now, in order to understand Anglo-Saxon England, we must go back many, many years. Betty! Did I tell you the latest mm. gentleman? This kind of manner yeah. shows, too. To it's one way to impress the teacher. All right, we'll continue our discussion now. We're talking about Queen Elizabeth and the coronation. All right, class dismissed. Hey, I noticed you're doing class. I'm Jack Connors. Hi, Jack. My name is Fred Johnson. Fred Noyer. All right, Fred. See, I thought we might walk around the school here. And I could... Introducing yourself to a new classmate is good manners and easy. Jack? Say, have you seen the new school paper? No. Well, here, you can borrow mine. My sister has one I can use. An offer of help, willingness to share, and your good manners help make friends for you. Walking slowly, keeping to the right. More good manners. Got some nice pictures in there. Oh, I'll get them. Can I give you a hand? No, that's all right. She'll remember good manners, and that makes Jack rate high with her. We never had anything like this at our old school. After school, when it's time for fun, when it's so easy to forget about manners, what about then? Yes, your manners are showing then, too. What are good manners when you're driving? Obeying all the traffic laws, yes, but more than that. You can wait for someone to get across the street, even if you do have the right-of-way. You can drive as quietly as possible. No hanging on the horn or loose mufflers. There are good manners for driving, aren't there? Your manners show in the things you do, in the clothes you wear. Sis, you're not going yet, are you? Mm, pretty soon, Jack. Married to any minute now. Well, here's the portable you. Pardon me, sis, but you aren't... Do you think you should go to a picnic dressed like that? Picnic? Oh, the picnic's tomorrow. Oh, I guess I misunderstood you this morning. I'll put the radio in your room. Thanks. Oh, Jack, I am going to a concert tonight. Do you think I look all right? For a concert? Terrific. Wait a second. Yes, <laughs> your manners are showing all day long. You may not know it, but all along the way, your manners leave their mark. At home? Jack is so kind and thoughtful. It's nice to have him come to breakfast dressed and cheerful. On the telephone. That message will be delivered. Fine boy, that Jack Connors. Helpful. On the street. There is a pleasant, well-mannered group of young people, not like some. Everywhere you go, your manners are with you, and they leave their mark. They help you feel sure of yourself, too, and they make an impression on people, on everyone you meet. We could listen in on Jean's thoughts, for example, but, well, you take it from here.